Pike World Cup uh, finals in team. Uh, great day yesterday for Joel, uh, finishing top. Uh, so he's obviously got a lot of confidence going into uh, into tomorrow's final, I guess. Yes, yeah. So just tell us a little bit about yesterday's performance and, and, and how it's gone so far. Yeah, it went pretty well for me. My first round was uh, not a safe run, but yeah, not the hardest run that I did. and. Uh, they gave me a good score, like an 85, and I ended up on 8 or 7 after my first run. And then in my second run, my coach and I decided to go for a harder trick on the second jump. And I did a switch double 10, and yeah, I was pretty stoked about my run, and they gave me a really good score. And yeah, I was really happy. So it paid off for you, taking, yeah. that, taking that risk. Yeah, it really worked. For sure, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, just looking at the season so far then, how, how has it gone? Obviously, I guess this is a bit of a high point for you so far, you know, to, to come first yesterday. Yeah. How's the season been, Jamal? Uh, pretty good. I had a really good summer training. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to New Zealand and uh, it was it went pretty well for me. I learned new tricks and uh, no big crash the whole season, so no injury for me. And uh, yeah, then I did really good in copper I go into the final there and uh, after that I went to Memoff and in qualis uh, I was in sixth place and the final was cancelled so another top 10 place then I went to South Korea I had some problems with my skis and uh, I ended up 13 yep. and now I changed the brand I'm now on Volker and it's pretty good for me the skis okay. and yeah you feel that's making a bit of a difference on the skis, maybe? Yeah, I think so, yeah. They're really fast and, yeah, perfect perfect for me, yeah. So what's the, what's, 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 what's been the, um, not turnaround, but obviously you, you, you feel like you're skiing a bit better now and you're getting maybe a better results. What do you put that down to? It's just just you coming into better form or...? Uh, yeah, so? I think the, the people around me are really good for me. You know, like the, the teammates or the coach and a lot of support for my family and everything is good for my sponsors and yeah then I trained good for summer. I yeah, I feel me ready for the comp season and yeah, now it's going really really well for me, yeah. So you feel very confident and, and yeah feel like you can compete with the top guys we Yeah week now it's again. yeah, now it's getting there. Yeah, the yeah. beginning of the season was not like yeah, I was not able to ride that level. Mm -hmm from the top guys but now it's getting there more and more step by step yeah, yeah, yeah not yeah. like you know what you've got to do then to compete consistently yeah yeah <laughs> just take us back a bit in terms of your your background when, when did you start skiing and, and uh, I started skiing maybe when I was five years old then I went to race skiing after that I had no fun in race skiing I also played soccer, okay. but then was like what I what I should do, like soccer playing or skiing. Then my parents gave me on uh, Christmas free skis, and I okay. was riding with them all the time, and <laughs> okay. I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Then I did small competitions in Switzerland, and then uh, yeah, I I really like to do half pipe skiing, and yeah. So you you found did you find half pipe? quite quickly that that was where yeah, you wanted I think to so. focus? Yeah, because in slope style I was not not the best or not too good for going to World Cups and all that stuff. And pipe was, yeah, I had the better chance or I saw the better chance for me sure. to get in to that level. Or yeah, yeah. What is it about the half pipe that you particularly like? What is it, the, the, the discipline that's exciting and, and so challenging for uh, you? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, I really like half pipe skiing because maybe we have a lot of good pipes in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Not this summer in South Fe, but the last summers we had a pipe in South Fe, then the perfect pipe in Lux, then we have another one in Grand Montano now, so maybe that's why. And also, I'm not the, the big rail skier, so sure. I, I love that, but I, I'm not too good at it. And yeah, I love the tricks. I love to combine the tricks in the pipe and do new stuff and yeah. Excellent. In terms of the Swiss team at the moment, how, how, how's, how's the Swiss team developing? Are you, are you, are you kind of pretty competitive as a group? Do you feel like you're becoming a force in terms of 
you know, as a, as a nation, it's a half pipe and yeah. freestyle. Now we have like uh, five or six Swiss riders here, so it's the first time with a big group. Uh, I was in New Zealand only with my coach, and also in America only with my coach, but it's like. It's also cool for me to have some other Swiss dudes yeah, yeah. are skiing with me and I can yeah, be having fun and And can you kind of I guess there's, there's a bit more competition between you guys, is there? Does that uh, does that come into it? Does that kind of motivate you maybe a little bit more or? Uh no. Uh, yeah, maybe for the young kids it's like a, a little bit of competition, but I will look not to be the best in Switzerland, I will be the best, yeah, from the world. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Why not? Why not? Uh -huh. um, so, looking ahead tomorrow, then, anything, anything new you can tell us? Any other, any little tricks you're gonna put in there to make it look different to, uh, to your qualification? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will. I think I will do the same as in qualification in first round, and then uh -huh. I will show up some more stuff. Yeah, maybe on the last day. Maybe a few surprises to, yeah, to look yeah. out for. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, Pyeongchang, obviously the Olympics next year. After this event, I guess you will you start to look towards the Olympics. Will that be your focus from from now on? Yeah, for sure. I look for the Olympics, but for me, I don't will say like, oh, my goal is in the Olympics to get top five or top three. I will uh, do better tricks and step up my game. So then it's like have fun and not like the pressure is not too much on myself when I do like oh dude I need to go top three or top five sure. and yeah. So if you enjoy it and you can Yeah of... when I have fun on skis and I can enjoy it I'm I ski well. You Otherwise when I have too much pressure I I ski not free it's like yeah, yeah not not cool stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just looking at the Olympics as well, obviously I think Sochi was your first Olympics, wasn't it? Yeah. How, how do you feel, what do you feel now in terms of going to the next Olympics? What's different, what do you feel different about yourself in there? Uh, in, in the chances perhaps compared to Sochi? Yeah, in Sochi I was a, a rookie or not, you know, like, yeah, a rider who can make maybe top 12 or something. But now it's a little bit different. I have, I can step up with the big, big guys, and it's, yeah, it's a, a little bit different for me. But I, I really, I, I like that when I can ski and I'm confident to go to the Olympics. I can do final and then I can show more and yeah. You were there, you were there just a few weeks ago, of course. Yeah, in yeah. Time. How, how was that? Actually? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty yeah. good. The pipe is insane. Yeah. Pretty much the best pipe I've ever seen. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited for the Olympics next year and all the stuff. Um, uh, it's pretty nice. Exotic. Yeah. So tomorrow, uh, best of luck. Hope it goes well. Thank you and, very much. Uh, thank you. Hopefully we'll see you on the on the on the top step. And, yeah. Uh, and in the first place. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank and, you. Uh, much appreciate it. Thank you.